En quoi temps President, please be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And again, the floor is given to the defense team for Kiev's point to continue putting questions to the civil party. Samsat, you may proceed, counsel. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Euh, bonjour, euh, Monsieur Samsak. Euh, mm, ce matin, vous, morning, euh, vous avez évoqué euh, avec euh, le coprocureur euh, la question des quotas et vous avez donné une réponse qui est différente de celle que vous avez donnée dans votre interview avec les enquêteurs E319-19.3 et voilà ce que la question qui vous est posée, la question 132. Est-ce qu'ils ont imposé un volume de travail aux habitants Votre réponse est la suivante. Les travailleurs de jour devaient transporter à la palanche un mètre cube de terre par jour. Mais les travailleurs But, de nuit uh, n'avaient pas de volume de travail à respecter. No fin de citation. Uh, Est-ce que vous pouvez indiquer so à la chambre quelle est la bonne version Est-ce qu'il s'agit de un mètre cube uh, par jour en journée day day et pas de quota la nuit Ou est-ce no que c'est les night, uh, deux ou trois mètres cubes dont vous avez fait état ce matin ซัมมันเดคอยให้ทาคือเป็นคือมาทาบุญมัดกี้แม่นไอ้ซัมมันเดคอยเดอะเดย์เวิร์กโฟเทอร์ฟอร์เดย์เดย์เวิร์กเว
Je ne crois pas avoir dit There cela. Was no, uh, shift, uh, Il n'y avait pas de roulement, no, de changement no d'équipe. Il n'y avait pas de roulement. Vous avez euh, indiqué, je n'ai pas bien compris ce matin, euh, et je vous demande de préciser, sur le type de travail que vous avez effectué sur euh, le site du 1er janvier. Est-ce que, à partir du moment où vous avez mis le pied sur le site de travail, jusqu'à la fin de votre travail sur le site, euh, au moment de l'arrivée des Vietnamiens, est-ce que vous avez toujours effectué le même travail C'est mon erreur. Effectivement, Trapectma, excusez-moi. La question est la même. Est-ce que vous avez effectué le travail, However, le, pro, le même travail du premier jour à, à la fin de votre travail, sur, de votre présence sur le site du euh, barrage de Trapangtma bah. I worked there until the day I ran to look for my other sister in Samrao district. So I worked at the Department of Dam work site. But allow me to clarify that uh, even by the end, of the regime, du régime, the dam construction was not fully completed. Pas And as I said, I worked dit, there in uh, phases. Namely, working at the first bridge and later on at the pont, narrow part of the dam. Puis ensuite à un autre endroit du barrage. Ma question était de savoir si le My type de travail que vous effectuez était le même tout le temps, c'est-à-dire transporter de la terre. After I completed the work at the uh, dam site, I was assigned to work uh, the dry season farming. Et de pratiquer de also near de the sèche. area of the, uh, the, of the dam work site. Dans les and I work within the vicinity of the uh, reservoir until the day the Vietnamese troops uh, arrived. Donc, je comprends de votre euh, réponse qu'en fait, euh, à un moment donné, vous n'avez plus creusé de la terre, mais vous avez fait des travaux d'agriculture. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris ce que vous dites Oui, vous avez raison. Et... À la réponse 102 de votre déclaration écrite, voilà ce que vous dites. Au début, comme j'étais encore très jeune, on me chargeait de conduire une charrette transportant du bois de cuisson destiné à cuire du riz pour les travailleurs de l'unité itinérante. Fin de citation. Est-il donc exact, comme vous l'avez indiqué euh, aux enquêteurs, que euh, au début de votre arrivée sur le site euh, de Trapangtma, vous n'avez pas euh, tout de suite travaillé à la construction du barrage I stated the same thing this morning because initially upon my arrival I was considered a young boy. For that reason I was uh, given a task to drive an ox cart to deliver firewood for the kitchen. Pour 
est-il exact également de dire que euh, les unités enfantines n'étaient pas euh, autorisées à travailler sur le chantier Est-il également exact de dire que en dehors de votre chef de groupe ou de votre chef d'unité, personne d'autre n'était chargé de vous surveiller Vous avez indiqué, répondant à M. le coprocureur ce matin, que vous aviez assisté à l'arrivée d'une délégation au moins chinoise et que vous aviez assisté à un meeting. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez si lors de ce meeting, on a parlé de l'objet du barrage during that meeting. But, Yes, they did discuss uh, this matter. Réponse, oui, ils en ont discuté. And they said that we had to try to accomplish the web plan set forth by Onka. Le plan qui avait été And they par made that announcement ils ont fait cette during the anniversary a celebration Pendant of the 17th April day. Du 17 avril, la journée du 17 avril. Et dans les discours que vous avez entendus ce jour-là, est-ce qu'on vous expliquait à quoi servait le barrage Was there any explanation about the purpose of the dam? I did not pay much attention listening to what was announced on, uh, during the, the meeting, and I can only recall what I have just uh, stated. Et ce sera ma dernière question. question dans votre In, um, formulaire your, um, de demande de de partie civile, hein. Vous, donc document E3 bar 5033 à l'URN en Khmer 00562496, vous avez comme témoin euh, un certain Chaoni. Est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer à la Chambre qui est euh, ce Chaoni que nous avons entendu comme partie civile dans le cadre du procès 02-002-1, est-ce que vous pouvez nous indiquer quels sont les liens de famille que vous avez avec lui Chao Ni is my other brother-in-law. When you say brother aîné par alliance, est-ce que vous pouvez préciser qui est marié à qui? Can you specify who is married to whom? When I say that he is my elder brother-in-law, it means that he's married to my elder sister. Je vous remercie de ces précisions, Monsieur le Président. J'en ai terminé. Je vous remercie du temps supplémentaire que vous m'avez accordé. Thank you for the extra time you have granted me. Bah, Okun. 
Thank you. And Mr. Samsa, the chamber is grateful of your presence and uh, your statement of harm and suffering that you claimed uh, you suffered under the Khmer Rouge regime at the Tepiant Modern website. And you may be excused. And Mr. Sarat, since you are still needed to provide Sarat, support to the upcoming civil party, please remain seated. And we will have a, another civil party also in the shortly. Court officer, please uh, collaborate with Wesu to make arrangements for Mr. Samsa to return to his uh, residence. And please ask uh, the new civil party in, that is to TCP994, for the purpose of the uh, presentation of statement of harm and suffering. President, good afternoon, Mr. Civil Party. What is your name? Civil Party. Mr. President, my name is Mien Lui. President, thank you, Mr. Mien Lui. And when were you born? Answer. I was born on 22nd December 1954. 1954. Question. Question. And where were you born? Et Answer. Réponse. I was born in Srahdat, village, Srahji commune, Phnom Srok district, Batambong province. Currently, it is in Bonte Minche province. Question. What is Question. your current occupation Quelle and what are the names of your parents? Et sont les noms de vos parents? Answer. Réponse. At present, I am à a rice actuelle, farmer, je cultive du and lait. my father is Mien Loi, Mon and my mother Mien is Bok Mai. Ma mère, Bok Mai. Question. What is the name Question. of your wife, Quelle and how many children do you have together? Answer. Réponse. My wife is Sok Hum, Sok Hum le and we have uh, six uh, children all enfants, together. Tous les deux. One son and five daughters. Un fils, cinq filles. President, President, thank you, Mr. Mien Lui. The Mien chamber Lui. would like to inform the, the parties and the public that the public. chamber has arranged a TPL staff to provide the support to the civil party during the proceedings of hearing his statement civile, of hand and uh, suffering as he claimed inflicted upon him during the democratic Cambodia regime. And Mr. Min Lui, as a civil Monsieur party Mien, in this proceeding, procès, you are giving an opportunity to make uh, your statement of harm and suffering, materially, emotionally, and physically, 
which are the direct result of the crimes that happened and uh, the effects that continues to the uh, present day. And that led you to become a civil party in this case, and which are alleged against the two accused, Nunji and Kiv Sampon. And which happened between 17 April 1975 to 6 January 1979. In particular, uh, the events that happened at the Trapiant Modem worksite. Her request by the lead co lawyers. The Chamber will give the floor to the lead co-lawyers to put questions to the civil party in relation to his impact statement. But, um, thank you, Mr. President. In fact, uh, me and Lui had a uh, toothache today, so it might have uh, some uh, impact on his uh, health. And for that reason, we uh, uh, seek your permission that uh, my Lawyer for Civil Party, Sensor Bond, put certain questions to the Civil Party. President, yes, yeah, you may proceed uh, in that fashion. Civil Party lawyer, thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, everyone in and around the courtroom. My name is Sensor Bond. I am a lawyer for civil parties in uh, this court, and I am also a civil a party lawyer for Mr. Min Lui. And I'd like to put some questions uh, to him regarding his uh, emotional, physical, and material suffering as a result of crimes committed uh, during the Democratic Committee regime, which it affects remained till today. And uh, Mr. Min Lu, prior to 17 April 1975, where were you and your family living, and what were you doing for living at that time? Answer. Prior to 17 April 1975, I live in my village in Strachi Commune, Phnom Srok District, Batambong Province. However, in 1972, I ordained as a monk in Munibo Pagoda. I remained there for a year, and then I returned to study at Phnom Sampo in Batambong Province. And for the second uh, year, I le went to study année, in another pagoda in Prenet Prea district. Dans le district de Prenet Prea. Council, thank you. Je vous so you ordained as a monk at the Bo Pagoda, and you ordained in 1972. And did you remain in monkhood until 1975? Answer. In 1975, I returned from Jol Tirisambat Pagoda to uh, Bo Pagoda in Phnom Srok district. district de Phnom Srok. And while I was still at the Pagoda, the Khmer Rouge liberated the Phnom Srok district. And there were 20 men uh, still remained in the Pagoda on that day. The Khmer Rouge soldiers made an announcement asking people in the entire district that is uh, comprised of uh, seven communes to come to a big meeting held in uh, that pagoda. And it was crowded because people from all the seven communes attended the meeting. They announced that for uh, ranked uh, soldiers of the lunar regime, uh, they should uh, congregate in one place and civilians should uh, gather in another uh, group. By about 8 o'clock at night, they announced that they will take those rank soldiers uh, away so that they would be reinstated. And for us, we were 
incentive to leave to the, the villages on nous a de that includes the, the civilians and the monks uh, through two directions, one heading to the north and the other heading to the east. As I was still a monk, actually at that time we cooked rice in order to prepare for a tomorrow and we started the, the journey at 4 o'clock in the morning and we stayed at the Samdai village for seven days then we were allowed to return to the pagoda. All the monks, including the chief monks, remained at the Abu pagoda and in the morning the Khmer soldiers who were the messengers of the uh, district chief uh, came to insist that we should leave the manhood, that we would not be allowed uh, to be uh, in manhood uh, anymore in the near future. But I insisted that I want to remain in manhood because based on the tradition and the religion that we should be in manhood for 10 to 15 years in order to absorb the knowledge and the Buddhist discipline. I remained a monk uh, from that uh, month of April and I continued until July before I decided uh, to leave the manhood although they came to urge us to leave uh, the manhood every single day. And the main chief assistant to monks also did not want to leave the manhood. And everybody, every monk had to decide what to do. So on the first day, two monks left the manhood, and the next day, six more monks, and it continued until there was no more monk left. The monk named Toipisat, who used to uh, stay at Badambong, still insisted that he didn't want to leave the manhood as he wanted to search for the Buddhist enlightenment. A month later, he was sent to Namtao village, and he was accompanied by two young monks to go, and when the two young monks returned, uh, they uh, left the manhood. And from that day, we did not hear uh, about him, but we heard that he was sent to Beng village in Odominche province. We did not hear from him since until 1979, when the country was liberated. And by 1980, a village chief of Beng village said that they held a a funeral for a monk who was sent by the Khmer Rouge to Beng village and that he was killed. And I, I remember that he was a, a commune chief during the Khmer Rouge regime. So we attended uh, the funeral ceremony at the house near the former uh, Khmer Rouge district office. And we were told they, they heard that uh, the Khmer Rouge said that why the uh, Hmong wanted to remain in, in manhood and that the manhood was beaten by the Khmer Rouge. And he heard later that the Khmer Rouge killed uh, that man. And the piece of uh, tool that they beat the man to death was later on put on his uh, where he was buried. Question. And after monks were ordered to disrobe, what were they assigned to do and where? Demander aux moines de quitter la robe. Comment cela s'est-il passé? Qu'est-ce qu'on leur a demandé de faire et où? For me, after I left the manhood, I live in Thmodai village. I worked as an ordinary villager together with other local villagers. I was assigned to to uproot the uh, tree stems to work in the rice fields or to clear. To, to my mount. After we Et left the manhood, we were not given any uh, new sets of clothes. However, I asked my elder sister to make clothes from the uh, Buddhist man rope. 
that I hate. De la robe de moine que I work at Nature Village. I work collectively uh, with other villagers, and that happened around uh, late 1976. Question. Question. And when were you sent to work at the Trapeant Modem work site? Chief of Cooperative, Jan, gathered the force and sent all of us to build them at the Pentmont work site. People from cooperatives uh, were gathered in large groups and uh, we were sent to work at the dam site. I uh, was part of a 100-person uh, unit, uh, Jan was the chief of my unit. My group was uh, working close to the uh, bridge number one, près du pont numéro un. and then uh, we were relocated to the north suite, of uh, bridge number one au nord to work on another segment of the land. Un... Autre the work de terre. working conditions were difficult. We woke up in the very difficile. early morning nous nous and went to work. Très tôt le matin. At 11, nous we were allowed to take a very short rest. Then we continued Puis, working for the daily quota. We had to complete a three cubic meters of soil. Respecter un quota de travail de trois mètres cubes par jour. Question. 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 Who divided the work to you to do, and who set Qui the work quota for you? Les, la charge de travail. Qui établissait le quota? Answer. It was the 100-person unit chief. C'était le chef de l'unité de 100 personnes. Lawyer, thank you. While you were working at the Bentmore Dam Merci. work site, were you assigned only to work on this segment close to bridge Trapeant number one, or were you relocated to work on other segments? And so when I was working there, I had I first started uh, working at bridge number one, and I worked from bridge number one to Pungro. De là, and after that, I uh, built the dam from Siem to Konklin. De Siem Not only hundred members from my unit uh, were working at that les, place. People from different mon unité, units uh, joined uh, the workforce. Euh, Question. Le nombre total de travailleurs. Did they set the work Question. quota at that time for Et all of you to work? Établi un quota de travail pour euh, vous tous. Answer. Réponse. The work was not uh, normal. Uh, we received a three cubic meters of soil quota work quota normal. per day. Le quota était de trois mètres cubes de terre par jour. Question. Three cubic meters of soil was assigned to you to complete. On vous Did a dit you de transporter fulfill, 3 mètres cubes de terre par jour. Quota? What happened to you if you failed to fulfill the work quota at the time? Que si pas à respecter la cible? Answer. We had to Réponse. complete it. If we failed to meet the work quota, we si were invited to uh, be in criticism and self-criticism sessions. And if we did not deter our mistakes, 
we would be si in trouble. Nos erreurs, si nous Counsel, pas nos what erreurs, did you mean by uh, saying that uh, you would be in trouble if uh, you did not deter your si mistakes or if you did not omit the word si quota still? Answer, la cible. if we were criticized uh, for a few si l'on faisait l'objet de critiques à plusieurs reprises et que nous ne parvenions pas à respecter le quota de travail, on disparaissait ou on était emmené pour être rééduqué. Question. You stated that uh, people would disappear Question. and uh, would be sent away for re-education. Did you witness someone disappear from your group or unit at that time? Est-ce que membre de votre unité a disparu à l'époque? Answer. Regarding Réponse. the disappearances, I did not à ce sujet, witness the disappearances. People, some people uh, felt sick. They could not go to work. They were accused of uh, having the so-called imaginary euh, disease or sickness. And uh, they disappeared uh, the day after in the morning. Et and uh, matin, there was disparu. no information or news concerning the disappearance of uh, these people. De leur Lawyer, because of this, uh, you uh, were working hard in order to donc, vous avez uh, survive and to save your life. Is that true? Pour, uh, et votre peau. Answer, yes, exact? that is true. Réponse, oui. Lawyer, thank you. Question. Regarding food rations, yes. clothes, Je parler des rations et des during the time. First, uh, I want to know about the food rations. While you were working at the Topeng Modern Work Site, uh, what Alors was the food, what were the food de rations de like? Vous nous la quantité de nourriture que vous receviez? Answer. Réponse. While I was working at the Bank Modern Work Site, I did not have enough euh, food chantier, to eat. Pas Initially, assez de à manger. Uh, we had cooked rice once Au in a début, while. Il nous Later, du we riz had a puis, thick gruel, nous, nous a donné and we received only a small bowl of food ration. Nous petit bol. We were weak, no strength at all. Nous étions très we faibles, were afraid. Aucune force, nous avions peur. I used to hear people say that Il d'entendre gens dire are worms que les moines sont sucking blood. Monks are uh, leeches, uh, sucking uh, blood. Suce le sang. And it was said that uh, we have never, we had never been Et educated before. So, in, for this reason, I uh, had to bear the situation, although I did not have enough food to je eat. Je cette situation, même si je Lawyer, pas assez thank you. While you were working Question. at the Modem Worksite, Alors, were you happy to work there? Alors que vous travaillez sur le chantier, étiez-vous heureux d'être là? Big and huge. Pouviez-vous choisir euh, la section du barrage sur laquelle vous pouviez travailler? Answer. For me, myself, Réponse. and as well as for other workers, en ce qui me concerne, we were not et pour les happy. Autres travailleurs, nous we were not satisfied with the work there. Nous n'étions pas du tout satisfaits du travail que nous faisions là-bas. We followed the guideline the line of Anka. Nous respections if les we did not follow, directives. if we uh, had not followed, we would have uh, been killed. Sinon, on nous aurait tués. Question. When you were working Question. there, were there any medical staff to treat you vous when là, uh, you fell sick? Or were there any medicines pour, uh, for treatment soigner, of sick workers? Si vous tombiez malade, y avait-il des médicaments mis à votre disposition? Answer. When we Réponse. fell sick, no medics. Lorsque l'on tombait malade, il n'y avait pas d'aide médicale. Personne n'y avait pas d'aide soignante pour nous aider. But we reported 
uh, it to our chief oh, and the chef. medic would come Et alors, venez they soin. would come with a bag and uh, the so-called rabbit sac. dropping fillets were given to all of us for any kind of diseases Et peu importe ce Lawyer, dont on souffrait on you. nous donnait des pastilles en forme de corde de lapin you told the court Question. that there were plenty of workers at the dam work Vous site including you female you and male you de travailleurs sur le chantier compris des jeunes femmes des jeunes hommes saw. did you witness d'après vos observations the marriages arranged for the male and female youth organized for them was signed femmes au chantier du barrage de trapé entrement Answer, no. Réponse, no. Question, Question, what about you? Did you vous, get married vous, vous at, at the Pentmo Dam work site? Answer, Réponse. I got married during the Khmer Rouge period while I was uh, working at the Pentmo Dam work site. My squad chief, uh, unit chief, told me that Dit, the marriage uh, would be held for me and the, the name was released to me. I uh, got married at uh, Bay Village, at Knoldach village. village. There were many couples uh, in the Il y avait uh, marriage, de 63 couples. 63 couples and uh, se sont the Couples included base people and Parmi ces couples, il y avait des gens du peuple de base evacuees et aussi des Phnom évacués de Phnom Penh. However, we could not. Uh, for, however, the base people could not uh, marry new people. Cependant, les gens du peuple de base ne pouvaient pas épouser quelqu'un du peuple de base. At that time, I du peuple felt. De I uh, felt that I I was not sure of uh, the one whom I uh, would get married. I was Et à a bit je ne savais uh, pas vraiment qui j'allais marier. Afraid. J'avais peur. We were so to sit in the middle and there was a table with the, the flower on il y avait it. une table sur laquelle on There a posé were une representatives uh, chaired uh, the marriage. Certaines personnes Perhaps, uh, the representatives cette were from uh, cooperatives, but I'm not quite sure. The marriage uh, was held at night, perhaps La de around a eu lieu le soir. eight or nine. Vers huit, euh, vingt heures, During vingt that uh, ceremony, they announced uh, that today it was it is the marriage uh, for the 63 couples so all of you couples. have to respect uh, the Ils line of Anka and after the announcement we were told to annonce, hold each other hands and uh, we were instructed to make resolution and to make sure that uh, we follow the line or guideline of, of, of Anka and uh, we were told to complete and achieve uh, three tons of rice per hectare. Objectif des trois tonnes de, de riz per hectare. I, in the marriage, uh, some couples uh, did not know each other in advance Certains and after the marriage pas. they could not even find uh, their spouses ne pouvaient même pas retrouver leur époux. I was I originated from uh, the rural area. Moi, je However, I think I am the arranged marriage uh, was not what I wanted. Mais je ne voulais pas qu'on 
organisme. We were allowed to rest for seven days after which. On nous a permis de nous reposer pendant sept jours. We were sent to work at an area after bridge number three to build a dam and dig a canal. All the sixty-three couples were sent to. Les 63 build the dam and dig the canal construire le canal after bridge number le barrage three. et creuser le canal we were working together however nous travaillions ensemble the married men had Mais to sleep in different places from those of the married men after we les completed building dans un différent the building the canal après husband and wives, husbands and canal, wives could only meet each other during the meal time because there was a decision that married men and women had to sleep in different places. Que les dortoirs, euh, After we completed uh, digging the canal, we were relocated to east of uh, Spin Strain. Nous sommes allés and we had to work uh, there until National Road Number 6 in Planet Preas District. district de While we were working in that segment, after we left the Tropeang Tmod Dam work site, uh, we were Alors, allowed to stay together with uh, our spouses. Nous avions le droit de demeurer avec nos époux. I was working uh, in an area from Spin Strine to Liep. Liep. It was raining. There was a heavy rain uh, one day, and uh, we could not work uh, on that day, so our forces were removed back to Tropeang to more dam work no, site. Lawyer, thank you. Forces, Regarding the marriage, uh, you stated that you did not know question. your vous avez future dit que vous wife ne pas in votre advance, and the marriage uh, was arranged for you. Arrangé. Did you love your future wife at the time? Épouse? Answer. Réponse. I have learned a lot about the virtues, good deeds, and uh, whatever that I had to do the good thing. So after the marriage, I had to love my wife. Lawyer, after the marriage, did you and your wife consummate the marriage? Answer, yes. Oui. We did. Lawyer, thank Question. you. Merci. Now, do you and your wife live together? Votre, est-ce que vous habitez-vous avec votre épouse? Answer. Réponse. No. No. Let me tell the court. Laissez-moi vous expliquer. After we left for the cooperative to work, I was assigned to do the rice farming in Tomville Tom. During the rainy season, my father-in-law was taken away to be killed because he was accused of uh, in, to be in charge of uh, 50 houses in the former regime, that is Luno regime. So we, I, we were sent to Kokrao and uh, Male workers were sent to do the harvest Les in a fast place, and uh, women workers were allowed to work in a place close by. In 1977, there was a chaos. En 1977, 
chaotic situation. People chaos. were not satisfied with the regime at that time. People from the villages were evacuated and to live close to streams and rivers. At that time, my aunt my aunts and my relatives, we went to find our family members. I did not know at that time the situation was chaotic and I was uh, harvesting rice in a far place. In the evening, my Aunts and my relatives, 13 of them, were sent to Phnom Stock district When I returned from work in the evening, I was told that your relatives had gone to Long Tom to look for your family members. I did not believe in the statement at that time. I said I had to go too. And uh, I afterwards left uh, and followed them. When I arrived at Kuba, I was told that my family members and relatives had been arrested and sent to Phnom Strok District Hall. At that time, I really wanted to go and search for them because I knew that uh, the word arrest means that at that time I really wanted to look for them, but uh, my remaining family members uh, stopped me from going. And uh, they said that if I went alone, then it was not good for me. Uh, I had to go with uh, female relatives. At that time, I arrived in one place, and uh, my relatives uh, were also looking for my family members who had been arrested. All my relatives, 13 of them, had been sent to the north side and killed. The two-year-old child was not spared. His or her life was not spared. Only one among the 13 uh, relatives uh, could survive Seul the period. A survécu. My neighbors My neighbor told me that my family members and relatives had been taken away and killed. Among the 13 relatives, one was my Wife, I did not know whether at the time she was uh, pregnant and uh, si sibling of my one sibling of my wife uh, was also among them, and two other two elder brothers and a four relatives. And as I stated, there was a two year old, there was one two year old child and a five-year-old child among them. The children's throats were cut. In the morning, my neighbors in Phnom Srok district 
help me to leave the place oh, le matin, uh, to the forest mine and then I reached uh, the cooperative and I was asked forêt, where I was going. I replied, I went to look after my uh, sick relative. I was clever at that time. I noticed there was a messenger on a horse. Malin, vu y avait un à at cheval. that time, three of us, I with two other Nous colleagues, trois, uh, were collègues. returning to the cooperative. Et and le du vers la the, the cooperative, chief, cooperative chiefs and uh, Others people were trying to shoot us behind. We were trying to run and escape. My uh, younger brother, uh, who was among the 13 the people who had been taken away and killed, could make an escape. Uh, he uh, broke the line, the, the rope, which uh, was tied uh, to his hand. I feel lost. I uh, feel unhappy. Everyone in this world perdu. wants to malheureux. leave. Tout le monde dans ce... veut quitter. I was trying to make Je an escape, vivre. to live as been strange, and I made my way and reached Simria. Lawyer, thank you. Question. Could you tell the court about your Merci. suffering, in particular your wife, -vous your vous aunts, -vous relatives, niece, niece and nephews who lost vœux, their lives? Could you express your suffering? How oui, uh, you feel until how you feel today? De comment vous vous sentez aujourd'hui? Man. Answer. It has been over 30 years. I have never Cela forgotten de 30 the suffering, et pourtant, even jamais oublié a brief moment, ces souffrances, even for a brief moment. Although I remarried a new wife and had remarié. six children, I euh, still love and miss my wife. J'ai eu six I enfants. Je Hold uh, Buddhist uh, ritual to commemorate my uh, wife, my former wife's soul annually. The young guy at the time uh, was Grand known as the lead, the lead great forward Anka, but the people uh, were killed like. Uh, Animals. Let me add uh, here. After I returned from Siem Reap, I went. I went to see Quand je suis the de dead body of my family members and relatives. I could see uh, the children whose clothes were cut and the bodies uh, remain at the place. And Les enfants dans la gorge avaient été tranchés. Bodies Il y avait 12 found Je n'en ai retrouvé place. cet endroit. I, together with the religious uh, people, or Acha at that time, moi, uh, held a ceremony Acha, and buried uh, the corpses une after I found uh, those corps. corpses. Après que je les ai Lawyer. Thank you. Now I would like to know whether question. you have any questions to put to Merci. the accused Je savoir through si vous avez the des of à poser the aux chamber. Par le de la chambre. Civil party. La party civil. I have a request and proposal through une Mr. Une President. Proposition à faire que I par vous, Monsieur le Président. Ask the chamber to sentence uh, the accused uh, to life and, and place them in the dark prison.
Nunchi and Kizampon were leaders of the Democratic Party regime. And during the period from 17 April 1975 to the 6 January 1979, you cut off all communications with outsiders and with overseas countries. Nunchi and Kizampon stated that. During the peer, during the regime, you had eyes uh, as many as apples' eyes. How come you didn't see the suffering of the people and people were starved to death? And why people were forced to marry in a flock uh, like cattle? And why you forced people to marry and later on you separated them from one another? Thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. President, I don't have any further uh, questions uh, to be put to the civil party. Thank you. President, thank you. And I noticed that Consum On is on his feet. Uh, you may proceed, Councilor. Consum On, thank you. I'd like to make a brief uh, Observation, observation regarding the uh, questions by the civil party that he uh, requires to put my clients uh, into a life imprisonment in the dark uh, dungeon, and that is not according to the existing law and procedure. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Civil Party, the Chamber of Visits will inform you that after ascertaining the position of both accused on 8 January 2015 regarding the exercise of the right to remain silent, the Chamber notes that the two accused maintain their express position unless and until such time the Chamber is expressly informed otherwise by the co-accused or their counsels. It is therefore incumbent upon them to inform the Chamber in a timely and efficient manner should the accused resolve to waive the right to remain silent and be willing to respond to questions by the bench or relevant parties at any stage of the proceedings. As of today, the Chamber is not informed that the co-accused have changed their express position and has agreed to provide their responses to questions. And for that reason, the Chamber is not in a position, legally speaking, uh, to compel the accused uh, to respond to your questions. It is now appropriate to take a, a short break. We take a break now and return at 10 to 3. Court officer, please assist the civil party in the waiting room for civil parties and witnesses and invite him as well as the TPO staff back into the court room to continue proceedings in relation to the statement of harm and suffering at 10 to 3. The court is now in recess.